Strap in, because we have one of the best, most high-pressure matchups I think I've had the pleasure of reviewing. We have Liu Bai Camille versus JJ King Fiora, two of the respective best one-trick ponies in the entire world, going toe-to-toe -to -toe level one here. Holy, this is um, a spicy start to the matchup. We do have the Flash TP on the side of the Fiora, and then TP Ignite on the side of the Camille. So obviously Camille holding a little bit more presence in those 1v1 situations, but Fiora having the Flash advantage means there's a little bit more room for outplay. I didn't think Camille was this strong level one as to go um, head to head with Fiora level one. That's obviously why JJ King postures so aggressively um, early on is because he knows that Fiora beats most things early as this might be a bit of a kill angle here. Camille got the grass proc, Fiora flashes back into the brush to deny vision and he's just gonna kite it out until the ignite. A very, very single digit survival on the side of Liu by Camille. Uh, very well played, probably will die to the Z though. No, no flash obviously meaning that uh, plays like that can be um, kind of cut off really quickly. Zed having to burn his flash either way. And Fiora also flash TPing too. Double Dorans going on the side of the Camille. Obviously giving that early health. Um, the health and the combat stats are very, very effective. But do offset your Mythic by a fair bit. So something to be conscious of when you do that. Fiora does have a level advantage here though. Camille just trying to still cut it out until one of the minions can die. So she can get level 3. Surely she falls here. So far, 1-1. One to one In this, like, literally just permanently fighting. A 7 CS at 3 minutes. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's typing. If anyone wants to um, clarify, that'd be great. Let's skip ahead back to laning phase. We do have the uh, inspiration on the side of the Camille as well. I think the reason that the level one was so close was because Fiora was obviously fighting in the wave of the minions and Camille's passive level one is obviously very strong as well. Um, both still running bone plating though. I'm kind of surprised how well Camille is doing to these extended trades, but once uh, Fiora has those Conqueror stacks ramped up, she doesn't really stand a chance. Luckily enough, uh, Leobias, uh, Leobias team is there to clean up the mess, getting a TP out of the Blanc and Kiana coming to play topside as well. Still not really sure what he's typing, I can't read it, I'm sorry I'm Australian, I don't know what's going on on the screen. Still very very close though, uh, Fiora only just winning these 1v1s, let's see if Leobias can turn it around. Obviously having to go the Cloth Armor and the Long Sword is offsetting his major spike which is the Sheen. Uh, Sheen is one of those items where if you hit a Q2 with Sheen and Grasp, it literally does like 30% of your HP um, this early on in the game. So you want to be trying to get those Sheen, get to that Sheen buy as early as you can. Going to give you a lot more of that kill pressure. He does have the Ignite up here though, so let's see if he's able to turn it back around. He is 1, 3, and 1, obviously one of the deaths going across to the Zed. Um, but he's still going to have to work a little bit harder to get back into this matchup. Fiora having a little bit of the advantage, I think she has an Iron Spike Whip. As we see, she just used the Iron Spike Whip active there to break Camille's Bone Plating. Big advantage of the Iron Spike Whip is that gives you... Um, ooh, I'm liking these Ws, quite smart. Kind of just like stops the retaliation of the Camille. Obviously we know most of Camille's trading pattern revolves around the Q. Um, she does have extended range on the Q and kiting it out, getting Fiora's Bone Plating with the W there. This JJ King is just so aggressive. This could be a dive here, flashes. Oh, it's not quite what I work, does Fiora die? Okay. I would say a <laughs> bit of a mis-execution on the side of the JJ King there, really, really unlucky. But these guys, like, this is pretty standard sort of like, um, I'd say, Eastern behavior is they just play so aggressively as Camille's probably going to die to the Zed here. Yep. I don't know what he's typing. If anyone can read that, that'd be unreal to decode because I really can't. Yeah, I'm terrible with other languages. Either way, uh, Camille does have the Divine Sundry here. Fiora does not have no ult. She does have the Tabby Ignite on the side of the... Camille as well. Does Fiora have... I don't think she has Flash now, does she? No, she does. Fiora flashes away. All of Camille's CDs are down. Passive is down for another four seconds. Let's see if Fiora can clean this up here. So much aggression out of these two. But I guess like this is kind of how you become a better player, right? Like you just limit testing and stuff. Fiora might even survive this if you can play it long enough and kite around her W. She doesn't have the Tabby. No, I think Kiana's quite strong. She is level 10. Very lucky that uh, the Camille is having her team play so heavily topside. So we do have the Mythic on the side of the Fiora as well as the Divine Sandra on the side of the Camille. Uh, Fiora's going to have a pretty hard time dealing with all the healing that Camille has. And she just used her Gore Drink active on the wave. She's not going to go back in there. I feel like Fiora probably would just ult and uh, Camille will die. Alistair coming for a gank though. We've got three coming for a gank. Not as much 1v1ing as I would like. I uh, really wanted this to be more of a 1v1. But to be fair, I think Leobi has kind of died once or twice to Fiora and then most of the time to Zed. Um, pretty unlucky as Alistair hits a sick EQ. Fiora just won't die. Dodging the LeBlanc W with her Q. Very well played. Four man top. Surely Camille's back into the game now. Was a little bit behind. I feel like if he was left to his devices in a 1v1, this might have been a little bit more rough. Either way, we started to roam. Top's broken and Fiora's currently dead. Uh, Camille having nothing else better to do will make something happen on the other side of the map. We go down to this Vex here. Vex does the stopwatch and Kiana does the ult. Very clean pick up there. 
Uh, Lucian does trade one for one though. So Camille is starting to get a few things done around the other side of the map. It does look like it's very luckily, uh, the team favoring is a little bit suddenly by Camille. It's a pretty rare circumstance that you would see JJ King versus Levi Camille, because I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Levi is actually off the super server. So him bit playing on Korea uh, is a very rare event. So it's not very often that JJ King and Levi get to play against each other. So I would have probably found a bit more of like a 1v1 VOD if it existed, but this is all I was able to find. I did want to do a Camille VOD either way um, as Fiora flashes and gets the kill on the Camille. I did want to do a Camille VOD either way and uh, when I was doing some research, this was the first thing that I found luckily. So we get the pleasure of watching JJ King versus Camille. It's been so entertaining watching them 1v1 just permanently in lane. I do wish there was a little bit less interference from his team's leader by Camille's team is absolutely smurfing. So he's very lucky he's had a few mistakes compensated by his team, but this vein is looking st pretty scary still. Um, as always guys, if you're, this is a pretty high elo game, as you can see, we've got a Han One Life, uh, support playing. Um, I don't actually know if that's the support, but regardless, Han One Life players in the game. Uh, if you guys enjoy this type of educational content, uh, these sort of breakdowns and all that kind of thing, I'm trying to really like hone in on exactly, okay, Camille cuts it out, nice ult, runs back out of the vein range, ease over the wall, Q2 on the vein. Very nice spacing there, it uses the Camille movement speed from Q really well. If you guys are uh, enjoy this type of content, I'm really trying to hone in on exactly what type of videos I want to make. So you guys be sure to leave some feedback and uh, things that I can improve on really, just any just anything. i um, really trying to make the best content I, content that I can possible for you guys because building a community has been unreal so far and I couldn't appreciate you guys enough. We see the Vex with the Zonius completed, it gets picked up by the Camille W and then Vayne picked up by the LeBlanc. So it does look like this game might be a bit of a wrap on the side of the Camille. His team's outperformed the red team pretty heavily. We're going to probably see a pretty decisive uh, team fight here. I hope that the red team wins it so we get the pleasure of watching a little bit more. Camille hard engaging on the team. She does have Death Dance and Stopwatch, engage, uh, stopwatch completed. Oh, that EQ just shreds Fiora. I don't actually think, by the way, if you guys play into Camille, I don't think if you go like a Bruiser, I don't think Death Dance second is that good into Camille because obviously... Uh, the Q2 eats through the armor, um, and I don't even know if Ignore Pain works because it's true damage. Uh, I would probably just still go like a, um, a damage item of some kind, so Fiora's obviously going into the Hydra. I really like going Cyrilda's Grudge into Camille because a big um, way that Camille plays around you is with her movement speed. Um, you can just cut her out with Cyrilda's Grudge, but either way, that's the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Please leave a like and a sub if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. See ya!